kind of insane. The side well, as I can I it's time just just occurring on the sidewalk. Like I, you know what I'm talking about, where it's like you can just see like everything just moving on the ground. Yeah, the heat kind of just warping everything, warping the like how everything is starting to look. Yeah, I feel like I was about to like step in a portal. <laughs> just get where teleported somewhere different where it's not so hot. Like yeah, it was just like I could just get like transported to like another world on like some anime type beat. All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna be seeing Joker versus Toon Link. Joker versus Toon. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I feel like Toast and Butter uh, has been playing a. Toast and Butter is like almost a Sonic loyal playing Sonic it's like Days of Smash 4. Um, but I noticed that he does experiment with other characters such as Cloud, and as we're seeing here now, Joker. He's repping the Joker shirt right now, so this only makes sense for him. Is he really? Why did I notice that? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just some nice. pretty normal interactions happening right now. Toon Link trying to get something started with his bombs at early percent, and finding his way in to get the percent to start to rack up. Yeah, we're still here in the early game since we're, of course, just getting started. And one thing I should mention, before things get a little bit too crazy, I gotta respect Bethel's uh, aesthetic as well, where um, he just seems to he seems to have, like, a a mood ring for, like, his color alts that he uses. Just like, I don't know, whatever he's feeling at the moment. It's like, yeah, PS2, that. I think that this one's this one's good for Red Link today. Yeah. Switch over to oh, Town He's got the matching shirt, actually, I just realized. Yeah. yeah. Look at his icon, too, up top in the corner. No, he is completely red right now. Completely coordinated. You gotta respect Ooh. that. Ooh, and you gotta respect the Joker back here. Don't sleep on that move, because that'll take a stock with a very healthy lead for Toast and Butter right now. Don't sleep on that move. Yeah, that back air hits super, super hard, especially with uh, Arsene. Don't sleep on normal Joker's back air either. That one doesn't oh, yeah. kill anywhere near as early, but if you get hit by it on that ledge, it's gonna, it's gonna send you far and put you in a bad situation. Yeah, that's situation. definitely true here. Oh, and an unfortunate SD. He's gonna tie it up with only a 29% lead now for Toast and Butters. You really do hate to see it. Yeah, it looks like he was, uh, he was doing a pretty decent job. He was forced near the ledge at that certain point in time, but it didn't look like he was gonna have his uh, stock taken on that stage anytime soon. Unfortunate mess up for him there. And I'll take there, and uh, now you got ourselves uh, just shy of a tied game here. Uh, hopefully, Toast and Butter's got a plan, though. Seems like they had a pretty solid start, and hopefully, they can uh, retain that momentum even though they've lost that stock. Uh, I was seeing if he would uh, try to wobble him with those up airs on that platform. Looked like he had a decent setup for it right there. He's doing a really good job at stuffing out everything that Bethel's trying to do by and challenging him in the air. Yeah, doing a really great job of doing so here. Solid dash tech coming out of Bethel here. Oh, and an Uptil is going to get punished by Tetrakarn. Going off stage, no forward air as uh, Toast and Butter had planned there. Our Sen is now out of play. And uh, we're still, things are still looking pretty even here, I feel like. Because, like, yeah, two links at the high percent, but look, now you got Rage. And you got Rage if, uh, and you hit a bomb right at ledge, that's just going to take the Yeah, spot. and Toon Link definitely does have the projectiles to keep themselves in the game a little bit longer than uh, the weight class would not allow them to. Yeah. Get the second. I'm followed up with an up That was actually really solid. It was really like a Z drop bomb if I caught that. Yeah. And he fo kind of followed the the DI wine with that up air because that thing has a super long lasting hitbox. A lot more, a lot more deceptive than it would initially seem. Yeah, de deceptively simple there, but it does seem to be getting results here for Bethel right now. Oh, and an up with with no punish, though. Huh? Equally punished with Tetrakarn from a bomb is going to put Bethel back at ledge here. Holding on to that sock, but not for long. With Toasted Butters Arsene coming out in full force here. Still got half a bar. 40% to make up for it. Let's see what Toasted Butter got planned here. 40% is almost nothing to Arsene, though. If he gets a decent one or two hits, even with exactly. Tetrakarn, that percent's going to add. Ooh, yep, we're there. Just like that. Like, yeah. You, you were like finishing your thoughts on that, and it, it happened. Just yeah, Aegon adds up percent real fast. I got it mixed up with Tetrakarn for a sec. Okay. I mean, we're coming to. Oh, and a parry punish with a grab. I like that. Stroker looking kind of clean right now. Yeah, because you know what? More often than not, what happens is if you full shield that, the wind box will push you away to where you can't grab. Yeah, that'll happen very frequently, especially in my experience. Ooh, good grab with that bomb. See if he can get something. Nope. Ends up getting hit by the bomb instead of uh, managing to get something off with it. 
go. Good grab coming out from uh, from Toast and Butter, trying to end Bethel's stock right here on this ledge pressure. Shoot, yeah, you're right. And I mean, it's really coming down to the wire here in a bomb forwarder. Tried and true. Toon Link confirmed yeah. he's going to close out game number one. Looked like uh, Toast and Butter was uh, maybe trying a little bit too much stuff on that ledge. A couple things that he might not have been too comfortable with, but kind of getting called out by a bomb and on that ledge once again that fair is going to take it really early yeah maybe getting a little bit experimental now keep in mind though because like bethel 3d is, is a is a common occurrence here in our in our uh your smash and our uh pilot programs and all that great stuff but uh toon league in general like you don't really see like toon league like every day you know what i mean i'll say like out of the no. three links that you see in the game uh toon link is probably the least frequent not rare but definitely the least frequent of the three yeah, people do like their links, but I think Young Link's combo tools and uh, the longer sword of normal Link and his special bomb kind of set them all apart in terms of what they all can do. Yeah, it definitely does uh, stand out from the crowd uh, of the rest of the links. I, I feel like they they all play fundamentally the same. They all have like the same like function, I guess. Um, but they they go about it like different ways. I feel like. Yeah, they all swing sword. Right. Uh, they all have bomb and arrow. But with a different purpose. They each got a story to tell, you know? Ooh, and a Tetracarm Ooh. punish. Center stage, it doesn't matter where you are. That's one star. Yeah. Oh, almost a roll behind grab trying to take this stock right now. Ooh, and a Tetracarm? Gonna turn out pretty safe for a uh, Bethel there with a well spaced up there. Ooh. And just like that, stock count is tied again. Yeah, killing from center stage. Seems like Toast and Butter's using the counters a lot with Joker, trying to build up his Arsene meter pretty fast and catch uh, any stray hitboxes that Bethel 3D's been throwing out. Yeah, I feel like, uh, like for example, Bethel 3D's been doing a... Oh, 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 oh no. I was going to say, I was like, oh, that air dodge did not look great. Yeah, yeah it didn't look like it was. Missed the ledge with that, uh, with that air dodge. She was trying to do some uh, gun shenanigans to get back to ledge, but it looked like it just barely clipped the ledge in an awkward way. A very awkward way, and unfortunately it's going to bring Asha to their uh, winner stock here. you got to go about it very carefully as to how uh, I'm going to close this out. Now, last game there was an SD, and we still got a last stock. Basically, yeah. last two situations, so... Those are really does have this planned out. Uh, could turn He's out doing a very good job at not letting the SDs get to him and just playing his own game. All right, we got it. Oh, and a punishable down B. Unfortunately, he's going to get grabbed and put off stage. We already have 100% of this last stock here. And Bethel doesn't have show any signs of slowing down here. No. And uh, we see Toast and Butter here on the ledge. To see if oh, shoot! Yeah. yeah. Good follow-up. Yeah. That down air, uh, I thought it would push him off the ledge, but he just kind of sat right in front of Toon Link. Yeah, I was a little bit scared it was going to do also, but it looks like um, Bethel 